Today I want to play Death Road to Canada. Harve is a surgeon. Arthur's a fucking bully, it looks like. Alright. Harve hears rumors that Canada is a safe place. I've been there and I can confirm. I did feel safer. Florida? They're coming from Florida. Okay, let's hit the road. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. Floridians have no problem hoarding. Y'all Mart? I don't care about the other options. We gotta go to Y'all Mart. Swarm size mild. Aggression sluggish. Let's do it. Let's go bargain hunting. He can carry a flashlight. Yep, and then Arthur can also carry a flashlight. Oh, do I get to play? Let's boogie. Ah, ah, what's happening? Let's boogie. Ah, I'm ready to boogie. Oh no. Wait, what's it doing? I sincerely... Oh, I had to press X. Of course I had to press X to get out of the car. I really um, need to read the controls before I play these games. Can I actually remap this? Wait, if I could... I didn't know I could remap that. Oh, that worked well. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I keep the gun when I pick other things up. I have this really cool thing called pockets, I guess. Oh my god, where the fuck did that thing come from? <laughs> cigarettes over here, if I can just weasel no. my way over. Those aren't cigarettes, those are bullets. Don't worry about it. Holy shit. I keep getting eaten. Excuse me. X. some gas from the toy toy Ooh. why would there be gas you know what never mind hey oh we're gonna get cornered in here babe let's go ah! oh shit oh shit <laughs> every time i walk over the sodas get away you silly willy there ain't nothing in here after all that all right let's go home buddy Thanks. we did pretty good we have 15 maple leaves whatever the fuck that means <laughs> This guy just on the ground, me, as a zombie. Uh, yes. Start the car, start the car, start the car, start the car. Floor it, bitch! I- Oh, I'm not doing too well. Two very boring minutes later. The group is sitting around a campfire in our car. Sing a song! Yes, the group tries to keep spirits high by singing! Harvey's attitude was shit. Well, he's just a man, and we do have a car. Plow through him. The car gets through, but takes some damage. That's okay, it was already on its way out. We're not gonna make it to Canada. We'll probably make it to, like, South Carolina. Do they get, like, riled up when it's moon time? I think that's called nighttime. Let's go for the office building, because we're also kind of dumb, so... Chillin' villain's law. Ooh, how's it going, boys? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. There's nothing in here. Let's go. What the fuck? Yeah, come on. Just ignore them. They're just acting out for attention. I wish I shit oil. I'd be so rich. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Maybe I'm actually just whelmed. We'll just keep going. There's more important things than your life. You gotta go. Just push past them. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, right? Yeah, he's totally fine. Look at him go. Why is he dripping? This guy didn't even give a shit that we were in here. He was just like, well, another day at the office, I'm afraid. How oh, exciting! It's like Fortnite! Right? With the loot? Isn't that what keeps the kids playing? Except in this case, it's shit in a toilet. Let's try to lure them away, maybe. There's an opening. Go, go, go. I wish there was a roll feature. We got 30 gas. That was actually pretty good. Total gas. Oh, <laughs> my dyslexic ass read that as 144 in both those spots. The group is blocked by another survivor group that set up a barricade to protect themselves. They are distrusting. I thought that said disgusting. <laughs> the person they send to talk is extremely annoying. <laughs> we should try to deal with him. Just kill him. If you're annoying in the apocalypse, you are not gonna survive. You're lucky you got this far as it is. It takes some extra time and gas, but not too much. That was actually a lot of gas. That was pretty much everything that I just looted. <laughs> the group runs into a trading camp. Hello. He looks so happy with his explosives. Oh, he does look so happy. Look at his little face up there. So cute. Now, I don't really want any of that stuff. What do you have? 10 food for a rifle? I want that. What about you? The group finds a twitchy man selling homemade bombs. Jesus Christ. 
Is that door moving or am I crazy? No, it, it definitely was. I could have gone in those ones with the doors that were half open. Now I feel like I wasted that. We'll steal their food while we're here. Let's go. The Linda claims to be really strong. She boasts about being a former caged pit deathmatch fighter. Yeah, Delinda. The group accepts Delinda to the team. The car gets stuck in the ditch, uh-oh, near a crappy dirt road. Now they must distract the zombies from getting too close. Quick, push Delinda. Delinda has a fucking sledge. Wow. Excuse me, a sledgehammer. Not bad, we're, we're training them around. Come on. Harvest happy out, look at him. Choose a reward. Yay! Mechanical, I'm assuming my car will need that at some point. I think I'm gonna go with mechanical. They're all shit at mechanical, and now they're slightly less shit. If you close your eyes, this cat food almost tastes like tuna. I have tasted wet cat food, by the way. Like, canned cat food. Because it smells pretty good, actually. Listen, it smells pretty good, like, let's be honest. It does not taste the way that it smells, just saying. They demand protein powder. I don't think we have any. They will also accept the remainder of your food and a quarter of your ammo and medical supplies. Delinda challenges them to oppose off. The bandits clearly lose and have to let the group go due to the bodybuilder's code. Delinda, really coming through. You know, I'm glad we didn't sacrifice you to this, that horde. Good thing I'm a fucking idiot. We're gonna run out of gas. Come on, let's go in here. Hey buddy, why the wide face? But Delinda knows what she's doing, I don't think. Maybe not, actually. Did you see her just go for that fly? <laughs> yes, a healing spray. Who is in need of health? Harv. Harv is in need of health. Empty, okay, good. Did that heal him? It did! The campground that the group sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. The group endures the smell zone all night. <laughs> Until passing out, they are not happy in the morning. But they were at least able to sleep. I think that's more important. We could swap cars. I'm gonna go with the nice. city row. The group drives through a city. A car is parked on the streets and it looks almost pristine. Oh, they're hunting. Oh, check out the car. I can do this. I can do this. Oh my god, I thought Harv was a fucking zombie with his dumbass haircut. Guy Fieri looking ass. Oh, and this, what's this? This is a set of keys, including some car keys. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Food, I also always keep food in my bookshelf, just in case, you know, you never know when you need it. Do we need more gas? Just go to sleep. Don't scare each other. The group spots a hitchhiker near the road. He looks amazing. He looks like an anime character. We're taking him. He wields a goofy, enormous sword. <laughs> It's obvious that it is way too big to swing effectively. I think I'm gonna leave it be. Fancy office or a big grocery store? I need more food. Everything is not fine. Everything is in fact not fine at all. We need more gas. We really, really need gas. Suddenly a giant fissure erupts across the road ahead. It's big, super big. The asphalt buckles on either side, making for a pretty slick ramp. Oh, sick ramp. Yeah, fucking done it. Chunks of the car fly in various directions. That was a bad idea. It took a beating, but it's still running. It's fine. Where are the exporting zombies and the tongue ones? I know, Left 4 Dead steered us wrong. The car has completely run out of gas and coasts to a stop. Well, it was a piece of shit now anyway. It's very thick and they're irritated and we don't have a choice. <laughs> this is the car, I guess. Right, we probably need to clear some of these zombies around it. Hi. You're gonna give me one food for my rifle? No! no. Ooh, the machine gives an 80s vibe. Arthur plays on hard mode. Arthur gets smashed right in the face by the axe. Oh. Can we go again? Yes. He clearly did not learn from the first experience. This is an old arcade machine from the famous classic fighting game, Road Punches. Yes, very famous. I'm bringing arcades back. They're going to get really popular now that the internet has been destroyed. No refunds. Uh, Arthur is very hurt. Massive. It's twice the fucking length of the one I did before. All right, let's fucking do it. No. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Oh, Arthur is very hurt. Arthur's going to die. Arthur's actually going to die. Oh shit. Nothing really. Oh Jesus Christ, this is really bad. Oh Jesus, sir. Okay, go, 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 go. You got it, you got it. You good. You good. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright. Well, she's dead there. Yes. I'm sure that'll go really well. Well. 
<laughs> Dang it. That's it. I don't even get like a nice try or anything. Damn. That's sad. Uh, thanks for watching me fail at getting to Canada. Okay, that's all. Bye. <laughs>